Hello dear classmates, how are you? This is Malhe Tamasum Mim, a student in class 7 of Government Bangor Union High School and College. Now, we want to act out the role of Rodushi and Konko. I'm Rodushi and she is my co-actor. Hello dear classmate, how are you? I hope you are well. I am also well. This is Nusta Chan Mim, I am a student of Government Bangor Union High School and College and your classmate. I want to act out the role of Konko. Okay, let's start our act. Hey Kanko, how is it going? Fine. What is that in your hand? It's an article. Article? About what? I am not sure. I have been trying to understand what it is about. But no luck so far. Let me see. Sure. It talks about something called antelope. What is an antelope? It's some kind of animal, I think. How did you guess it? Look, in the second paragraph, there is a sentence about its food habit. It eats food, so it will be an animal. Right, wait, wait. Look at the fifth sentence. They have babies. A baby antelope is called calf, and lions and other predators hunt them. Yeah, the baby cow is called a calf, but it is not about a cow. Let's find out where it lives. We don't know anything about it. How do we find out? Firstly, we can find out the word leave. Then read the full sentence if that it is or not. The word leave is not used here. Now what can we do? Read again first and last line. Here three countries names are mentioned. But the last one is United States imports antelopes. So it is not its living place. The first one likely to. But why is this paragraph written? If there was a picture of it or headline of this paragraph, we could easily understand. But now, to find out this, we have to read it carefully. One thing I noticed in the last part. Nowadays, it is endangered. I think it would be an awareness increasing report about antelope. Most probably, but this article also does not explain properly. But now, I'm quite curious about it. We can ask our teacher about it tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Then bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching us.